Good morning and welcome to our time of morning prayer. Today, as you can see, I'm at the Grotto of Our Lady of Lourdes here in Inchicore, a place that is very special to oblates across this whole province of Ireland, England, Scotland, Wales. And so you're very welcome to be with me this morning. Uh, today, in Ireland, England, Scotland, Wales and in Jersey, people will be leaving to go to Lourdes for our annual pilgrimage. So our thoughts are very much with all of those, um, and especially for those who are part of what we call our assisted pilgrim section. This is a, a time of both great excitement and great anticipation um, in so many households. And indeed, if you are one of them, um, we wish you all a very safe uh, travel and we look forward to being with you in Lourdes uh, from tomorrow. So, Perhaps as we start our prayer this morning, we might particularly think of both those who are going to Lourdes and are able to make this journey, and those who, for whatever reason, would love to be there on that journey with us, but can't be there with us this year. Like, please know that you are always there in spirit with us. We carry you in our hearts, we carry you in our prayers. And if we are there, you are there. So we start this morning as we always start our prayer, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'd like to start our prayer with a prayer that I think so many of us learned as children, and I can never forget it. And when I am wondering, what can I say as a prayer in the morning? It is the first one that comes to mind. So we'll pray it together now. O angel of God, my guardian dear, through whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and to guard, to rule and to guide. Amen. So this morning we have a lovely gospel from St. John. I'll read it and I'm sure as you hear the words you'll recognise as one you've heard so often before and you've heard in different contexts. So this is the gospel according to St. John and it's chapter 3. Jesus said to Nicodemus, no one has gone up to heaven except the one who came down from heaven, the Son of Man who is in heaven, and the Son of Man must be lifted up as Moses lifted up the servant in that desert, so that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. Yes, God loved the world so much that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. For God sent his Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but so that through him the world might be saved. This is the Gospel of the Lord. I said that this is a Gospel that may immediately be one that you can recall hearing so often. And indeed, this is the gospel where, if you watch sports programs, certainly in GAA for very many years, there was a man from, I think he was either Galway or Roscommon, used to go to the matches, he'd stand behind the goal, and he had a banner up, and it had John 3, 16, 17. And of course, that is from this gospel. And that, they're the words in this gospel, that God so loved the world that he sent his only son, and you know, I'm also conscious that in this month of September, we are in the month of creation. And it's interesting that in the gospel, it didn't say that God sent his son to be with humans in the world. He said he sent his son into the world, that God loved the world so much. Yes, he, we know he loved us as humans. We know he came on earth and we have that overwhelming expression of his love for us in his crucifixion and his death and his resurrection. But it didn't say that. It said, God so loved the world. So in the month of creation, we're talking and we have to have special regard for all of God's creation. And you know, we haven't been doing a very good job for it if, we have, if we're really truthful. We really have messed up sometimes. We know we live in a world where in some parts of the world they're dealing with climate change at such an extreme level that places are drying up, rivers are drying up. We know that uh, we are putting so much uh, bad things into the atmosphere that we literally are uh, damaging life itself. This doesn't sound like we are looking after the world that God loves so much. 
You know, this story of God loving the world links very much back to the book of Genesis. And we know as each day is recorded in the book of Genesis, at the end it says, and God liked it, or whatever the particular phrase is, he saw that it was good. So God created this earth. He created everything we see around us, the mountains, the animals, the, the flowers, the trees, everything is being created by God. And I think that we have a special duty to look after God's creation. And so maybe today, as we think on this gospel, that God so loved the world that he sent his son, and we think particularly the fact that we are in this month of creation, maybe we think about how we are doing how we are caring for the world that God created for us. I remember many years ago seeing a picture of the earth taken from space. Very maybe it was from the moon or somewhere nearby. And in that picture, in that picture uh, from the space, you saw amid all the darkness, you saw this blue earth. It was absolutely beautiful. That's the earth that we live on. It's the world in which we are. And this is what we are asked to take care of. So today, as we walk around, as we do whatever we do, maybe we take our little effort, our step, to do something. Sometimes people say, but what difference can I make? But you know, the smallest effort, the smallest task, is us caring for this world that God created. So let's finish our prayer this morning. As I said, tomorrow, over today and tomorrow, very many of us will be making our way to Lourdes. And so a prayer that I always pray when I stand in front of the grotto, maybe you will pray that with me this morning. Again, I'm sure you know it. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, do not reject my petition, but graciously hear and grant it. Amen. Our Lady of Lourdes, pray for us. Saint Bernadette, pray for us. Saint Eugene de Mazenod, pray for us. And again, remember that we will remember all of you in Lourdes over the coming week. Thank you for being with me this morning and have a nice day.